Hey guys, I'm Kyle with the drafting room here at Obsessed Garage where we handle all the garage designs and all of that. Today we've got a video on the bucket filler for Obsessed Garage Academy. And we're gonna talk about this and how it relates to your overall wall mount solution because that's a question we get a lot is, you know, setting up this whole system. And obviously this one's a little bit different than what we typically install, uh, but the bucket filler and the hose bib is an integral part of that even though it maybe doesn't come specifically with that setup. So today I wanna to talk to you about um, you know, how high to install it, where you need to install it, and some of the things that you need to take into consideration um, when you know, planning for this uh, so that you can do everything correctly the first time and have a really clean setup. Um, so the way we've installed this one is at 49 inches high. So that is measured from the Swiss tracks to the middle of the pipe where your plumbing is inside the wall um, so that would be, you know, uh, 49 and three quarters would end up being, you know, to the concrete. Um, you don't have to get exact with it. You have a little bit of leeway here because really when it comes down to it, uh, 49 inches, that puts our stainless bucket filler solution with all the quick disconnects and everything. Um, we don't have quick disconnects on this side, but you can set it up that way if you want. Uh, it'll just extend it a little bit further into the bucket, but you can see that it gives us a pretty good... Um, uh, you know, extension into the bucket, and this is 21 inches. Um, so you can kind of do some math and figure out what height you want to put it at for your, you know, personal setup. But typically we do 49 inches or 43 or, you know, 42 inches if you want to put some shelving above. So if you're working with us in design, we do that a lot where we put shelves for your press all bottles or whatever you're, you're going to be putting on there, um, you know, your foam cannon and stuff like that. Uh, we'll bring it down just a little bit lower to give us some more breathing room to be able to put shelves up here. Uh, one thing to keep in mind if you are doing that and you're not going to have the P114 or the P118 that has the front mounted um, nozzle on it, you want to probably put it, your shelf you know, a little bit higher so that if your knob is on top or some other configuration that you have a little bit extra room to be able to reach in there and uh, turn on the water. Um, one thing to consider too, because we get a lot of questions about, okay, well, where does my water outlet need to be? And we're talking about, you know, for the, for the Krenzla setup and for the bucket filler, a lot of people just have it in their mind that you're just going to have one water outlet. Well, when you're doing a dedicated bucket filler and a dedicated uh, water supply for your Krenzla, you're really going to end up with two. So this one for the Krenzla, we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, because that's a, this is kind of a different setup than what we would normally have. But for your bucket filler, it is going to be a separate setup. So you're going to have, you know, maybe a 22 inch, uh, outlet that's going to be for your Krenzla setup for the like regular custom install. Well, you're also to the left or to the right of the machine, you're going to want to do a 49 inch or like a 43 inch high, uh, water outlet for your bucket filler. Um, if you're going to do a 43 inch, you also want to make this shorter, so you're going to do an 18 inch bucket filler on here. This is a 24 inch. So obviously 24 inch is the actual length of the braided hose itself. Once you add all the fittings and stuff like that, it gets a little bit longer. Um, so that's why we go up as high as 49 inches. Uh, but it actually ends up being a really pretty clean setup. So the nice thing is it allows you to go ahead and turn it on. Now I can go about my business setting up my foam can or setting up the pressure washer. You know, whatever steps I'm in the middle of doing, I can go ahead and do that while that fills up with water. Same thing for doing the, uh, you know, the wash bucket. You can let it drain out, switch it over and uh, fill up your wash bucket while, you know, you're foaming the car down and that sort of thing. So it's a pretty nifty little setup. Definitely something you want to have and something you want to pay attention to and consider when you're planning for your custom install solution of where to put it. So 49 inches, 43 inches, you're gonna do a 24 inch bucket filler or an 18 inch bucket filler. So as always, all the stuff that we're talking about is available on obsessedgarage.com. Uh, we've got the prior hose bibs, we've got the stainless or the rubber uh, bucket fillers, and then we've got the hose nozzles as well, which are back in stock. Um, if you need help getting this type of thing set up, support at obsessedgarage.com or if you want us to help you with your entire garage, design at obsessedgarage.com and we'll get you all sorted out.